Okay, so for the last part um, of today's lesson, we're going to look at the cost of electricity. So meaning once we know what the kilowatt value is that the, that, that particular load is using, we're going to take into consideration how long we are using that particular load. And of course, we have to consider, well, how much are we being charged for every kilowatt hour that we are using that load? So the cost for electricity in kilowatt hours is usually um, determined in terms of cents. So you're charged a certain amount of cents for every kilowatt hour that is being used. Okay, so just be mindful. Uh, so here's our, our formula. The cost to operate a particular load is the power times the time times the cost. But the units are important here. The power has to be in kilowatts, the time has to be in hours, and usually the cost is given in the question in cents per kilowatt hour. Now, probably wondering, well, how much would we be charged in cents per kilowatt hour? So this is actually the cost of electricity in Ontario from 2016, which is probably lower than what it is nowadays. But the time, the time of day that you are using loads is actually um, has a different cost associated with it. So actually, especially now during um, the COVID-19 closures, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the news, um, they've been trying to, um, you know, Ontarians are trying to advocate to say if we can actually change the cost, because actually, if you take a look here, the summer rate during the daytime is the on peak rate. So you'll notice that there's it's color coded. So we have red, like beige, yellow, and then green. So the time of day that you're using a device is charged according to essentially how much um, electricity usage is being consumed. So usually the times of day where you have the most electricity being used in Ontario is where you're going to get charged the most because they want to uh, encourage you to use less energy. So if you take a look at the summertime, which is what we're in right now, the peak time is 18 cents per kilowatt hour, and it's from about 11 a.m. until 5. This is typically because in the summer, when it is the warmest time of day, is between, you know, obviously uh, in the morning usually it's cooler, but it warms up and it's very hot, especially in the mid to uh, late afternoon. So what happens here is this is where your uh, air conditioning units will be working very hard to keep your home cool. Uh, in terms of winter time, the winter on peak rate is actually in the morning and in the afternoon, I should say around dinner time. This is because usually in the winter, so November to April, most people are at work during the day and the morning where people are getting ready to go to work or after work where they're trying to make dinner and do laundry and do all kinds of things is where it is most expensive. So it will shift depending on what's happening. You also have to think that the time of day when everyone is home is where you want your furnace to keep your home warm. Uh, now, usually at nighttime is the cheapest. So that's why they recommend, you know, if you're going to do your laundry to do it maybe after 7 p.m. It's going to be cheaper for you to do that. Actually, quite a bit um, more that's cut essentially in half in the wintertime. So um, right now, everyone is home. So this on peak rate, if we're being charged this, right, you have to think everyone's using things like internet and um, laptops are on, computers are on, TVs are on, people are cooking more at home during the daytime now. So like you have a lot of energy consumption here. So to help out Ontarians, they actually lowered, I'm not sure how long it's put in place, but they did lower that, that peak rate um, just for during this time while everyone is at home during the daytime. But it's kind of, Interesting to know that the, the cost is not always the same, right? So it may be cheaper or more expensive depending on when you're turning on things. So let's take a look at some questions here. So we have a laptop computer uses 75 watts uh, when it is plugged in. Electricity costs 5.6 cents per kilowatt hour. 
how much would it cost to operate the laptop for one year, assuming 24 hours a day? So this laptop is working hard. One year, 24 hours a day. Okay, so let's write down all the things we're given. So we have the power. Power is 75 watts. Now keep in mind, energy, the power, we need in kilowatts. So as a helpful um, tip, so remember one kilowatt is equal to a thousand watts. So when we want to work backwards to get kilowatts, what we're gonna do is we're going to divide by a thousand. So for this one here, let's do that right now. If we divide this by a thousand, that will give us 0 0.075 kilowatts. That way we have it in the correct unit. And we're told the cost. So we have 5.6 cents per kilowatt hour. And now we also have the time, one year for 24 hours. But if you remember, our time has to be in hours only. So we have to take that one year, which is 365 days, we're gonna assume it's not a leap year. Okay, so 365 days, and we're gonna multiply that by 24 hours because it's running 24 hours a day. So 24 times 365 is 8,760 hours. Okay, so we have everything we need. We have the power in kilowatts, we have the cost, and we have the time of hours. So now we're going to do the total cost, which is gonna be power times time times cost. So we're simply gonna be plugging in these numbers. So it's gonna be 0 0.075 kilowatts times 8,760 hours times 5.6 cents per kilowatt hour. Sorry, it's kind of squished in there. So it's 0 0.075 times 8,760 times 5.6. So we get an answer here of 3,679.2, but this answer is in cents. Okay. Now I don't know about you, the last time I went to the store or went to purchase anything, they don't tell you the cost of something in cents. Right? You know, you want to go buy a pack of gum, they're like, okay, that'll be three, 375 cents. No, right? You, you're being told the cost of something in dollars and cents. So the very last step when you're doing any sort of cost um, calculations is we want to divide this answer by 100 so that we get the value in dollars. So this will cost $36.00. 79 cents. This is a point. Okay, so our therefore statement would be, it's a little bit squished in here, but our therefore statement would be the cost to run this laptop computer for one year, 24 hours a day, would be $36.79. Now you're probably wondering that's pretty cheap, but keep in mind this is, this question is 5.6 cents. Imagine it was 18 cents, right? So it would be much more than just $36. So the cost will change. So obviously this is dependent on uh, the information given in the question, okay? So we'll do one more together and then I'll have you try one out. So it says here, it takes 15 minutes to dry your hair. All right, let's get going. So the time we have is 15 minutes. 15 minutes to dry your hair with a blow dryer that uses 60 watts. So the power is 60 watts. Okay, calculate the cost to dry your hair if electricity costs 13.2 cents per kilowatt hour. Okay, so let's make sure we have everything in the correct time, uh, units. So this 60, we know we need in kilowatts. So we're gonna divide by a thousand. So we should get 0 0.06 kilowatts, right? 15 minutes, we need this in hours. So what that means is we have to divide by, uh, sorry, pardon me. No, oh, I'm correct. <laughs> I'm getting confused here, I'm thinking seconds. So we have to um, consider there are 60 minutes in one hour. 
So if we divide this by 60, we'll get how many hours this 15 minutes is taking up. So it's 20, 0.25 hours. So it's basically a quarter of an hour. Okay, so now that we have everything in the correct units, we are going to figure out the total cost, which is power times cost times, oops, I put in the wrong order, but it's the same thing. Power times time times cost. We have everything in the right units, so now we're just going to plug in everything times 13.2 cents per kilowatt hour times 0 0.25 hours. And don't forget, we're going to put this in unit of dollars after. 0 0.06 times 13.2 times 0 0.25. So we get here um, 0 0.198 cents, which when you divide this by a, a thousand, we get 0 0.00. One, two, three, nine, eight $2398. It's free. <laughs> so, uh, and it just so happens to be that that's how that worked out, right? So think about it. It's only 15 minutes and it's 13.2 cents. So yes, it's a little bit unrealistic. Uh, maybe we should have mentioned this, you know, 15 minutes per uh, time to blow dry your hair. And we're going to blow dry it 20 times for that month or something along the lines. But anyways, it is what it is. It's just a matter of practicing to use these formulas. Okay, so try out this last one. Pause the video, give it a try. So we're finding the cost of an electric toaster that's being used for three hours and it takes 75 watts to operate and the cost is 5.5 cents per kilowatt hour. All right. So we have the time. And in this case, our time is already in the correct units that we need, hours. Power, 75 watts, which we're going to divide by 1,000 to get into kilowatts, 0 0.075 kilowatts. And the cost we're given is 5.5 cents per kilowatt hour. So we're going to do the total cost is equal to power, times time times cost. So it's going to be 70, oop, pardon me, 0. Point, fix that. It's going to be 0. 0.075 kilowatts times three times 5.5 cents per kilowatt hour. So we're gonna have 0. 0.075 times three times 5.5 which gives us 1.2375 cents, which divided by 100 gives us 0 0.01 cents. So it's gonna cost us a cent, okay? So um, give those a try. So that's essentially looking at cost calculations. Now, anytime you are working with these problems, make sure that you have the formulas handy uh, I know we're not technically in school right now, but even if we were in school, I would always give you the formulas. You don't have to memorize them. You just have to know how to use them and how to apply them to a question. All right, have a good day.